you know, one of the most amazing aspects of the Christian story is the idea that the King of Kings, the, the, the eternal God, the most sacred and holy person ever, 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 should be born in a barn. And this is a very inspiring, very humane message. So, so that's a very interesting part of uh, the Christmas story. And even if you consider that the Bible is just a really quite special novel, you don't need to believe that Madame Bovary is real in order to think that the story is interesting or you know, that Anna Karenina is real. Treat the Virgin Mary like Anna Karenina and get on with it. But I think she represents uh, something that uh, all, all of us want, really, which is the kind of ideal mother, it's the ideal of motherhood, it, uh, particularly around the idea of forgiveness. Um, and the idea is that uh, she's just a very nice person. So when you tell her, my company's gone bankrupt, or I've been sacked, or I've had an affair, or I've stolen someone's car, she will go, don't worry, right? And it's strange, but we're all very much in need of this. So she's like the giant mummy. She doesn't exist. Science has proved that she doesn't exist. You want to know? Shut up. It's not about her existing. We need this. That's what's interesting. So I come at this like a psychoanalyst. Like, what does this tell us? We need a mummy. So whether she existed or didn't exist, that's not the point. The point is we need a mummy.